The Day Side is a returning shotgun brought back as part of the Future War Court set of weapons in Season of the Splicer, and it's a decent PV shotgun, and with the right roll it could be absolutely devastating. Well today I'm going to have a look at the weapon, the stats, the god rolls for PvE, plus the all-important information about how to get the Day Side in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here and find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And if you enjoy this week in video games, then consider becoming a channel member by hitting that join button down below. Well, the day side is a legendary energy shotgun with a rapid fire frame, meaning the weapon fires full auto with deeper ammo reserves. And it's got faster reload when the weapon is empty. Looking at the stats, we've got 65 for impact, 34 for range, 34 for stability, 44 for handling, 67 for reload speed is a 140 rounds per minute shotgun with 7 in the magazine. Well let's have a look at the day side god roll guide now and this shotgun definitely feels to me more like a PvE shotgun rather than something suited for PvP when you look at the available perk. Therefore for PvP I'd straight up recommend looking at another shotgun if you want to go into PvP like Reese Walker Winter's Lie or something like the Chaperone. So for PvE, Rifle Barrel, Pended Mag, Slide Shot and 1-2 Punch. That would be a decent roll. And Rifle Barrel gives that increase in range but greatly decreases handling speed. And a Pended Mag greatly increases the magazine size. You've got Slide Shot, partially reloads the magazine and boosts range and stability. And finally, 1-2 Punch gives you that increased melee damage for a short time when you hit an enemy with every pellet. Another good one for PvE would be Smoothbore, Tactical Mag, Surplus and Vorpal weapons to smoothbore greatly increase the range at the cost of more projectile speed. Tactical mags slightly increase stability and increases the magazine size and also boosts the reload speed. Surplus increases handling, reload speed and stability for each fully charged ability. And Vorpal weapon, well that will give you more damage against bosses and also guardians in their super. Well next up, let's have a look at how to get the deicide in Destiny 2. So to get this one, it is a random drop from activities, and it's in the world loot pool of weapons. This is part of the returning set of future Walker weapons, originally introduced in the Curse of Osiris expansion, but they are back with updated perks. So there's no surefire way to get this one. It is down to luck, but you can get this one from the end of Strikes, Crucible Matches, Gambit, and opening up packages and engrams too. Well, the lore this season has been absolutely fantastic in Season of the Splicer, and the day side has one of the best lore tabs in the whole game right now. This is one of my favourites, so let's take a look. So we've got the day side lore, believe in war, and nothing else. And that's from Lakshmi 2. So we've got an encoded private ping via an HDM proxy router. Ikora, I thought you'd want to see this. It presents as binary in our systems, but something is splicing hashes in. I pulled it from the tower's Nexus ISO feed, and it's all over future war court networks, and elsewhere. So then, we have a bunch of binary code, separated by dots and hashes. My guess is the lettering indicates some kind of audible tone code pattern, but I haven't listened to it. One of my subordinates has isolated minor pits fluctuations, represented here as hash. These are foreign elements to otherwise normal binary code. And see attached report for archive information on that binary code. And this one comes from Orna. Well, really interesting stuff there from the law. And we have been over it already this season. But if you do decode that binary found in the law tab, then you get a tune. So it's C, E, F, D, B, D, E. And then it goes on and on and on. And if you play those notes on a piano or a guitar or any instrument, really, you will get Savathun's song and that has infected the future war court network. And this was one of the earliest indications this season that Savathun had been influencing the last city. So really clever lore tab on the Deicide, one of my favorites in the game. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the Deicide shotgun, and also what do you think about that spicy lore? Well, that is it for this guide to how to get the Deicide in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more, Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.